Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to rank MBTI personalities based on their sales skills. Make sure to watch each one to find out which personalities are the best in sales. Some personality types are very good at sales and some just are not. Each individual has their own level of sales abilities. However, based on general tendencies, we've ranked each one of 16 different personality types in one of these categories. Here's the MBTI personalities ranking based on their sales skills. Number one, ISTJ. The exceptionally capable ISTJ will always find a way to excel in everything they undertake. Given that they dislike regularly interacting with others, they might not be naturally interested in sales. Since they prefer to operate in a more private situation, ISTJs will not like feeling pressured to interact with and sell to people. If the ISTJ is required to work on sales floor of any kind, they'll experience pressure to perform at the top levels. Number 2. ISFJ ISFJs are good at working with people because of their amiable and kind nature. Although they can sell a product without a doubt, the continual social engagement can wear them out. ISFJs will also despise feeling as though they must put others before themselves in order to succeed, and don't want to be in any way ruthless. They're skilled at closing sales, but they'll struggle with the occasionally shady strategies that rival employees use to outwit them. Number 3. ESTJ Due to their charisma and social skills, ESTJs can make good salespeople. ESTJs have a reputation for being gregarious, and they will work hard to develop their sales skills. To be the greatest possible, they will take the time to learn and conduct research. Due to their competitive mentality, ESTJs are driven to complete tasks and develop personally. The ESTJ will undoubtedly be capable of being successful in sales because they strive to be the greatest. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Number 4. ESFJ Since they're affable and sympathetic, ESFJs are sometimes seen as outstanding salespeople. ESFJs excel at reading and comprehending people, and they'll use this talent to be successful in sales. In order to persuade someone that their product is ideal for them, they can figure out how to connect with that person. Additionally, ESFJs are able to handle the competitive aspect of some sales positions and aren't hesitant to assert their authority. Number 5. INFJ INFJs may find careers in sales to be a little sleazy as they're not typically interested in that field. They want to concentrate on activities that make them feel fulfilled, and encouraging people to buy things doesn't fall under that category. Working in sales can be quite taxing and emotionally destructive for INFJs. They prefer to work toward a higher goal, and engage in activities that make them feel as though they are changing the world. Although INFJs may not enjoy selling, they're capable of succeeding in that field if they so want. INFJs have a talent for reading people that is very difficult to disguise and is very useful in the sales sector. Number 6. INFP Because they frequently hate their jobs as salespeople, INFPs are absolutely not salespeople. They would prefer to let people make their own decisions instead of attempting to persuade them to buy a product. Sales may seem a little manipulative to INFPs, and it may even go against their personal principles. INFPs aspire to change the world for the better and are committed to doing the right thing at all times. They'll struggle to find the motivation to succeed in a sales position if they are stuck in it. Number 7. ENFJ Due to their friendliness and approachable nature, ENFJs frequently make effective salespeople. They have the interpretational skills necessary to establish a friendly and reliable atmosphere. If they can adopt the proper mindset, ENFJs are frequently among the best salespeople. In certain circumstances, people might not enjoy working in sales and instead want to accomplish something far more important. If an ENFJ decides to pursue a career in sales, they are usually the best in the industry. Number 8. ENFP if they are interested in the position, ENFPs are frequently good salespeople. Such a career can occasionally deplete people, and they may feel that their patience is waning. If they have extremely strong internal principles that are very important to them, and they believe in doing what's right. If you're an ENFP who dislikes selling, you might find it difficult to succeed in this line of work. However, the ENFP is highly capable of being the top in their field if they're not against it. They have a charm that gets them far, since they're charming and outgoing. Number 9. ISTP 
ISTPs are undoubtedly charming individuals with strong sales skills. Although the ISTP is frequently capable of coming across as a great salesperson, the work can be taxing for them. The ISTP prefers to be alone most of the time, therefore having to deal with people all the time drains them greatly. It can be difficult for them to interact with irritating strangers, thus they may find it difficult to do so. Number 10. ISFP Given that a career like that can feel demanding, ISFPs are not frequently viewed as salespeople. The ISFP can view having to compete in order to close a transaction as both tedious and unethical. They also require a lot of alone time and detest being around others all the time. The ISFP will succeed in a more casual sales position since they're outgoing and sociable people. Number 11. ESTP Due to their charisma and extroversion, ESTPs are sometimes regarded as some of the best salespeople. They won't be ashamed by being a little pushy in order to close a deal because they aren't afraid of doing so. Others might cringe at the thought of having to push a sale hard, but the ESTP relishes the challenge. They will allow their competitive side to take charge because they aren't really afraid of embarrassing circumstances. They can deal with the ruthless corporate competitors and will not be scared to fight back. Number 12. ESFP because they're gregarious and enjoyable to be around, ESFPs are terrific salespeople. They don't have a sneaky attitude and know how to make others' experiences enjoyable. People frequently feel welcomed and enthusiastic about the goods as a result of their warmth and excitement. To help them feel more at ease, ESFPs frequently take the time to learn about the other person and may even share personal information. Number 13. INTJ since they're inclined to research every need, INTJs can manage a sales position with ease. However, INTJs don't enjoy interacting with others and would prefer a more solitary workplace. They're capable of getting over their aversion to teamwork in order to complete tasks, but they would prefer to not be compelled to do so. When selling is necessary, INTJs frequently discover a means to market online purchases. They will quickly grow worn out if they try to sell to people in person. Number 14. INCP INCPs are not typically thought of being salespeople and frequently find daily interactions with others to be unpleasant. If they can develop clear marketing methods and work in behind-the-scenes sales, they fare far better. Although INCPs are adept at identifying ways to persuade other people, they dislike being the one to do it. When compelled to constantly promote oneself while also selling a product, INCPs can find the correct strategies, but they quickly burn out. Number 15. ENTJ ENCJs are frequently good at putting themselves in a certain light and are prevalent in the sales industry. They have the ability to advance and will work to become the top salesperson in their region. They are skilled at self and product promotion and will learn as much as they can about the goods they are selling. While they could come out as a little passionate, ENTJs appreciate being able to exhibit themselves to others and find that doing so frequently gets their message across. Number 16. ENTP ENTPs can become excellent salespeople, especially if they're motivated to pursue the profession. They're charismatic, intelligent individuals who excel at figuring out how to offer their goods to certain customers. Although they're adept at selling, they frequently grow completely bored with it. Things that do not uniquely and interestingly challenge ENTPs are easily sidetracked from. They must always challenge themselves to advance and pick up new information about the world and themselves. These videos will be really helpful to you.